Hey you guys, it is William calling from Movie Vlogs and I am so excited that North Melody Grand Prix has released snippets of each of the 21 acts competing in this year's national selection, C9. Hey everyone, welcome back to Wee Vlogs. Oh my gosh, William, I'm so excited. I am going to be reacting all of them with you, William. I love you so much. Never ever forget that. <laughs> Should we go back and forth, listen and react? Let's do this! <laughs> Oh my gosh, girl. Honestly, Queen Ulrika returning is some of the best news I have had all year. She, of course, missed out on her big moment in 2020 after winning MGP. I'm hoping she can take cosmic revenge. So we... What? Oh my gosh. Oh, I literally... Oh, girl, she is... She is back, Ulrike Brandstorp is back. Oh my god, I, oh what? I literally got tears on my eyes, what the hell is going on? What a surprise, what a surprise. And the song is called, honestly, honestly, what a surprise. Honestly, the queen is back. Honestly, she's, she is getting that throne, girl. She is getting back that throne, she is getting back that crown. All right, this is Ulrike with Honestly. Oh, soaring. Hiya, girl. Oh. Beautiful. That voice. Yes. Wow. What the fuck? Why is it only 32 seconds? Really? Oh my gosh, why is she 32 uh, seconds and not one minute as the just like the others? Oh, that's not fair! <gasps> okay, for that I'm going to listen that again. William, we are going to listen that again, okay? Hit play right now. Okay, listen, the thing with Ulrika, Ulrika can sing, okay? This is like child's play to her, no drama, hitting all the notes effortlessly. This sounds like a sort of modern mid-tempo ballad, um, very different from attention, yet still giving her that oomph, that poomph, that pow, that space to show off her voice. I need to hear more. I'm titillated by this snippet. My titties are lated. I am titillated, but I need to hear more of the song before I can form a full impression. However, I suspect there's going to be that note, that power note, that moment, because she's here to win. She knows how to play this MGP game, so I'd be shocked if that if the full three minute package wasn't even better than this very tantalizing snippet. Ulrike. Thank you so much. I really need that, literally, I really mean it. I really need that song fully. Like, I need those three minutes because 32 seconds are not enough. Not enough for me. Okay, this song, this song is this song. You know, I remember her saying she will be back when she um has the right song. I think that's the right song. I think this is the one. Okay, next up we have Eric Ness with Wave. I think that's Onda in Norwegian because there's a restaurant on the, like, Oslo waterfront called Onda Delish. All right, he, oh, he's worked in Nashville, the Bahamas, Amsterdam, the Seychelles. Our man is well-traveled, hitting parlay. No reason for taking Ooh, slow. country twang. No oh, I love this vibe. No matter how fast it life, you have to be slow. That's actually very true, you have to be, you know, you don't, you don't have to, you know, hurry for something. Even though the life is really fast, like... Very touching. Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh, oh and 
Oh, it's beautiful. Mm, the moment is we have is now. Something like that. It sounds like a whole chorus coming out of it. Oh, right that right way, that way ah! buddy. <laughs> but don't be too fast. Oh, I really like the way. This is very positive, very affirmative. Comfortable. It, okay. It really does. Eric, nice. Thank you so much for your song. It was enjoyable. It was really enjoyable. I don't know. I don't... Um, sometimes, you know, I think if this song will do well at Eurovision. Yes. Why not? Because we already had, you know, pop country songs at Eurovision. And they did qualify. For an example, um, 2018, the Netherlands. Like, everybody was thinking, you know, they will not qualify. But they qualified at the end. Yeah, I really uh, enjoyed it at the moment, so I will be excited to hear the full song, actually. Okay, again, positive feelings. I need to hear more. The progression, the journey is important. I think that could get boring if it's just that same vibe the whole time, but surely he's gonna have a bridge that takes us somewhere. Surely there's gonna be nice development at the beginning. He's telling a story. It's warm and it's inviting, and I love the voice. These are the feels we need. All right, we're going into a new year. We're thinking of Norway, we're thinking of Eurovision in Liverpool, and we are smiling the whole way. I like the nostalgic vibe. Very positive, very positive. Oh, next up is Kate Goldbranson. She, of course, sang for Norway at Eurovision 1987. Our girl is vintage, but she is also now. She has slayed across the decades. This is very exciting. The song is Tarari Paradise, hitting play. Oh. oh my gosh, don't you guys love Norwegian language? Yes. It's so beautiful. Like, even more beautiful to sing, you know. She's sensual. She's like all this. Okay. Still got oh, it. Girl Kate, honey. Tonight. Oh. Mm. I feel like I'm in a cocktail lounge. That's beautiful. You know, I'm listening to those snippets for the first time. This is sensual. Oh. And I really love, you know. I'm getting some Jessica Rabbit oh, okay. vibes. Hourglass dress. Oh my gosh, those vocals. Look at Oh, girl, I absolutely love Norwegian, you know, language while, you know, it is uh, presented on uh, tracks, on songs, because I find it really, really beautiful. And, oh my gosh, Kate Gulbrandsen, your song, I feel like I'm listening like a Disney soundtrack or, you know, something like that, something uh, as, as a song, as a title song of a movie. It's, it was, you know, so spiritual and even more just because of the um, Norwegian language. I would really, really love, you know, Norwegian language at uh, Eurovision Song Contest again. Okay, you know, very nice. Not for me. This is like not my cup of music, cup of tea. This is not something I would download. This is not something I would play on Spotify. This is something I could hear in a liquor commercial. Enjoy Bailey's. Oh, yes. You know, you, you know what I'm saying? This has like that alcohol commercial vibe. Um, or maybe selling cat food. Well, like the cat, like the seductive cat crawling. I respect her. I love that voice. I wish her all the best. Next up is Rasmus Tall with Tresco. And I'm reading on the Wooly Blogs website that the song is about the brother, uh, his brother and the everyday life after an accident he suffered in 2010. He got an ice block on his head and had to learn to walk again. Oh wow, Rasmus has a close relationship with his brothers and it was really tough and this was an inspiration for him. Okay, wow, that's a lot. All right, hitting play on Oh! Okay, this is not what I was expecting. Oh! Oh! Electro! I'm a robot. Tresco! Oh, this, this is, is not so what I was interesting! Expecting. This is so different! Oh my gosh! Oh! Hey! Hey! It's haunting! Hey! hey. Da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Tip top, tip top, tip top, tresco. Hey. 
Tip top tres go. Tip top tres go. Tip top tres go. Wow, there's a lot going on. Tip top tres go. It's haunting. Tip top tres go. Tres go. Tres go. Tres go. Tres go. I actually love the instrumental. I feel drunk. Yo, la, la, dum, da, dum, da. Okay, this is really interesting. It's like robotic, ghostly, drunk, inebriated. There's just so many different feelings. The vibe could be 80s. It could be very today. This is one that makes you stop and pay attention. Now, I don't speak Norwegian, so I'm probably missing like a lot of the message here. But I think if this relates to rebuilding yourself, maybe that's why it's got the robotic sound. Like if you've been in an accident, you have to recover. Maybe this captures like the friction, the tension, the difficulties. So there could be a like strong message behind that sound. I must say, it's not necessarily pleasant to listen to. Um, I think the sounds are deliberately clangy, you know, kind of, I don't know, like I'm in a factory and everything's going off and it's like, oh, but that probably conveys a message which Norwegians will understand because they get the lyrics. But um, I respect the innovation, the novelty, the uniqueness, and the charisma, and the nerve and talent. So, um, well done, Erasmus. Oh my gosh, Tresco electronic pop is my kind of music. I really love that. It also includes a little, a little bit, you know, trap house. Well, not house, but trap music. Wow! Tresco, I really not, I need that song. I need that song fully. Erasmus style. Oh, you're amazing. You're amazing. Ooh, girl. He got a lot of interest in it. All right, next up is Alessandra. The song is Queen of Kings. Oh, I like that idea. Queen of Kings, yes, girl. And the song is about daring to be yourself and coming out stronger after difficult times in life. Alessandra is just 20, lived in Italy most of her life, but moved to Norway two years ago after finishing high school. She is a go-getter. Hitting pa lei. Her name is Queen of the King. Oh, yes. This is great. Nothing in the world can stop you, girl. It feels ancient. La, 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 la. Game la, of Thrones. This, is, this sounds like a, like a hymn. The North is coming uh, for real. Of a football team, Ooh. something like that. Oh, oh, yes. All of this. All of this. The vocal. Oh, my, I got goosebumps. In the world of change. Great voice. Sing, girl. Sing. Break the chains. Oh, yes, all oh, the records. It's so la ira ira. She's going to conquer all. This is good. This is excellent. Hey, epic. The act. Nothing in the world can stop you, girl. This is your game. <laughs> Her wings are gonna spread. You know what? This reminds me of that song from last year. Was it Ida Gundrensen or something? Like the Thor song, Hammer of Thor? This has that same epic theatrical quality. They could stage this in a really cool way. You've got the queen of the kings, the woman on top, putting everybody down, saying, serve, you better serve. I really like this. This has, I don't mean this as an insult, a Eurovision vibe. Like if you hark back to, I don't know, the naughties when people went for it, they, don't, they didn't care if things were crazy or wacky. They just wanted to have fun. This is fun, but it's also musical. It's good music, even if it's kooky, crazy, and quirky, and gonna be over the top. Give our girl some wings. LED, fine. Even better to have them on that body. Serve us body with wings. Yes! All right! All right. You know what? This song is very interesting. I really, like, the vocalist, she slays, like, vocal, you cannot touch her. But I feel like I heard that song before but not, that's not a bad thing that's a good thing actually because we enjoy you know songs i really enjoyed that yeah it it really reminds me of uh you know of a song for you know like a football team or a ice hockey team something like that it's it's very interesting like uh, imagine on the school you're the cheer leader of the girls you know and uh supporting your football team that's actually very cool alexandre thank you so much you are amazing all right next up Eurovision returnee Joust, DJ producer extraordinaire. He better grab that moment and this moment. He's grabbing the moments 
with his pal Byron Williams Jr. up, who is from Miami, Miami to Frederickstad. Now that is a move I would like to hear about. You go from the temperate climes of Miami all the way to frigid Norway. Love that. The song is Freaky for the Weekend, something all of you can relate to. And the song is about getting ready for a party and the boys have some big plans to do that at MGP as well. All right, okay, well, we are hitting play. <laughs> oh. I like this soulful voice. Back at it. Oh, I wasn't I expecting this from a Joust song. Come on. Hey, 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 hey. Reach me. Now is the, the production weekend. is on point. Well, almost. It's Friday right now. He has a great voice. Oh, okay. Tonight is freaky, oh freaky. Oh, put the lights, put the lights. Disco this lights. Is funny. Fire. Freaky. Yeah, yeah, yes. Okay. okay, I did not expect this. Ladies in the, well, I need boys in the club, girl. Top? I would love me some top, honey. Poppy. The beat is dropping. Um, yes, the beat is dropping. Oh, oh my God. I really enjoyed that. I really do, like, I need that three minutes of that song, please. B Byron or Byron Williams Jr. You are amazing. You are amazing. That voice, that voice is everything. That voice is everything. I really love that timbre of, of the voice, you know, men. When they sing, the night is young, the ladies, well, the boys in the hood. Yes, yes. Now listen, I love, I love me some Joachim Van Steen, Joust, DJ producer extraordinaire. I love me some Byron Williams Jr. voice. Freaky for the weekend. I could hear this in a movie. I could hear this in a comedy. I could hear this. It has personality. It has a perspective. This is not something I would download, if I'm totally honest. This is not something I would um, purchase. However, with the appropriate staging that's fun, a little silly, I could see this having great appeal. Um, I think this might attract an older voter, an older viewer, of which there are many, so there is no shade in that. This is fun. You know, MGP is for fun and variety, and they are giving us fun and variety. A little left field. I mean, the title is Freaky for the Weekend, come on. It's got built-in cheese. So they're not, the joke is not on them, they're part of the joke. Because if you submit a song called Freaky for the Weekend, I mean, come on, it's a, you know, this is like, you could hear this in Bridesmaids or that type of movie, you know, we're, we're going to the wedding, we'll be at the bar afterwards, see you there. Or at the wedding, the dr drunk aunt is dancing to Freaky for the Weekend. This is interesting and I wish them all the best. All right, last up in the semi, Umami Tsunami. Yes, that is the name, Umami Tsunami. And the question they're answering is, what happens when European pop music is inspired by Asian pop music? All right, uh-huh, okay. All right, well, I am excited to hear Umami Tsunami. Um, this name is everything. There are a lot of syllables going on there. You know, we had Ha 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 Hurricane, now we got Umami Tsunami. All right, hitting play on Geronimo. Oh! Geronimo, oh. just let it go down. <laughs> da, 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 this is down, good. Down. This is good. Oh, buddy. Oh, the boy. Okay, very boy band. Very boy band. Serving the in sync Backstreet Boys Ooh. 90s realness. But then with all this umami around it. Geronimo. I love that. That's great. Oh, oh. Bam. Come on. Bam. Oh my gosh. Put the disco lights. Okay. Body shake it down. Geronimo. Explode. Boom. Kaboom. Well, damn. Um... That was a flavor. That was its own flavor. And I like it. <laughs> I think that comes out of left field. I was not expecting to hear sort of a K-pop meets European Norwegian boy band 
thing, um, but it works. Uh, I watched a clip of them marching out at MGP 2023 press day, filmed by Anne Vic and Anders, twiz and twiz and tack, and the fantastic show guys. But um, I thought they weren't so confident when they marched out. It almost felt a little stilted, and the guy in the middle was a little nervous, and he was like, looking at his dudes. So I think that they're still finding their feet, but the confidence will come. And that song is just so well produced, so bombastic is the word, bombastic, in your face, loud, no holds barred, and that's what you have to be at MGP. This is a competition. This is a competition, and I think they will stand out. That's a very strong boy band offering, because it, yes, it takes elements of boy bands of the past. Shout out to Subwoofers, Ben Adams, or whoever you are. They take elements from the past and they really do update them. This K-pop sound, um, you know, it continues to have its moment. It's not going anywhere. Yes! All right! All right! Jerry, oh, break those glasses and, oh, what? Did they just destroy a car in those last seconds? Oh my gosh. Geronimo, take it down, down, Geronimo. All right, this is a song for the clubs. And I am ready to hit the clubs in Norway, in Oslo. So, who is going with me? Who is coming with me? Let's go, let's go! <laughs> oh, this is a very interesting song, you know. When you're at the club, you had your cocktail and hitting the dance floor, literally opening the dance floor for everybody, dancing and just having fun, just having fun, just having Geronimo. I am ready to Geronimo it, girl. Thank you so much, Umami Tsunami. All right, oh my gosh, that's everything for Heat One. I Wow, it's going to be a really tough one because personally, I really loved, like really, really, really loved um, okay, let's see. Oh, definitely Ulrike. Give that her, give that crown, give that crown. She's winning the heat. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, everybody. She, like, she, she's the winner for me. Absolutely. And then, I really loved Umami Tsunami, Geronimo. They are qualifying 100%. I really want them, like, if I were uh, in Norway, I would definitely vote for them. So, it's also 100% televoting, so no juries. You guys better vote for Umami Tsunami. Those boys are amazing. And, oh, the last one. Oh, wow. Let's see. Okay, I'm, uh, oh, it's so hard, it's so hard. Okay, I, I think I will choose the song that I really liked for my taste, you know? I think Rasmus Tal Tresco. He's going for the final for me. Congrats! You guys are qualifying for the final of Melody Grand Prix 2023, yes! <laughs> so yeah, those are my three qualifiers. Congrats, congrats! William, what about yours? Well, obviously I'm gonna say Ulrika, because I have faith in her and her team. Oh, Ben Adams, hey! Ben Adams co-wrote Ulrika's song. Oh, along with Christopher Goodestad, who is her incredible, incredible PR publicist and friend. Okay, so Ulrika, I just, there's more coming out of her. You know there is. So she's my first. Eric Ness, I liked Wave. It reminded me of that song Home from a few years ago or Going Home or River from MGP. You know what I'm talking about. Um, Kate Rasmus, Alice, Alessandra. You know what? I think in Norway, there's often, voters often gravitate toward that Ida Gundrensen, Hammer of Thor theatrical vibe. So I think Alessandra might get in there. And then Umami Tsunami, because weather patterns, weather patterns endure. We can all relate to a tsunami, plus the K-pop wave, the love, you know, Japanese music as well. Like Asian pop is in, Umami Tsunami is in. So Umami Tsunami, Alessandra Mele, and our girl Orika Brandstorp. Those are my three. In any case, that's what we think. What do you think? Do you think any of these songs could improve dramatically with the full three minute version. What kind of staging do you expect and who do you predict to go through? Let us know here on Wee Blogs. Please do not forget to subscribe to our channel. We have a lot of videos, a lot of videos coming up. The new season is here. Oh my gosh, so much to do, so much things to do. I'm excited, I really do. Uh, yeah, keep slaying, keep glowing. We love you so much. Bye. Bye.